The thing to talk about in the world of energy today with LNG in focus is what fascinates each of us in LNG. Many of you know I was born in the island of Sakhalin. In early 80s, the oil and gas has been discovered in the north of the island. And then by early 90s, all the production sharing agreements, all the concessions were already signed between the Russian Federation and the foreign investors. All the consortiums were formed and there was a plan. And the first LNG plant in Russia was built in the island of Sakhalin, where I live. I spent almost nine years working for the Sakhalin 2 project and what fascinates me about LNG is that the gas gets into liquid uh, with the temperature below 160 degrees Celsius and it becomes liquid and it becomes non-explosive and it becomes uh, very transportable. What fascinates me about LNG is that the, the average sales and purchase agreement for LNG is a few billion dollars and 10 to 25 years. What fascinates me about LNG is the fact that if in your SPA, sales and purchase agreement, you um, mention reasonable endeavors and then sometimes the best endeavors are mentioned, that difference can cost to a buyer or a seller few hundred millions dollars over the course of the SPA. What fascinates me about LNG is that now in this world there is an LNG moved by trucks in the continent of Africa where small-scale LNG is being developed. So LNG is very transcendent and that's what fascinates me about LNG. What does fascinate you about LNG?